okay but look how glistening and pretty this lid color is mind blown it's insane it's so pretty hey guys it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel so i'm so excited for this video today it is gonna be a good one so before I get into it, grab a snack, grab a hot drink. It's going to be this makeup look and full face using makeup favorites by other beauty gurus on YouTube. So all your favorite YouTubers, beauty gurus, I basically collected their favorite makeup products and I'm gonna be using it in today's video. And all the videos of the YouTubers that I mentioned today will be in the description box along with the products that I use as well. So that's pretty much it. It's a really, really fun one today. It's just, like I say, going to be a full face using other beauty guru's favorite makeup products so if you guys want to see the look and see what products i used uh, and what youtubers that i talk about and all that stuff then please keep on watching so the first product i'm going into today for my primer as my base is going to be the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter base it's beautiful under foundation it gives you a really really pretty glow um and i have it in the shade light two so this one is Bailey Sarian's favorite of 2019 now, this YouTuber. Honestly, let me just talk about her for a second. She has become one of my absolute favorite like YouTubers here on YouTube. Um, I literally just discovered her maybe like a week ago and Every single day I watch her videos. I'm just completely obsessed with her. So I will have her channel linked below. But if you don't know who she is or what she does, she's a beauty guru as well. She talks all about makeup. She does makeup, but she also talks about true crime, serial killers, murder cases, unsolved mysteries, and she combines it whilst doing her makeup. So as she's doing her makeup, she's also talking about serial killer cases and like murder investigations. And I love things like that. So if you're someone who also loves like murder investigations and serial killers and like all of that stuff, and you love obviously watching makeup tutorials at the same time, I would highly suggest to check her out. I will have her uh, channel or video linked below. She's just the coolest, coolest YouTuber. Now we're going into foundation. So I'm going to be using the NYX Born to Glow foundation. This is Juicy Jess's favorite here on YouTube. Um, absolutely love that girl. So this was one of her favorites for 2019. And this is in the shade light. So I'm gonna use this one today. And I'm just gonna have glowing skin because you can see already what that, um, Hollywood filter did and then this is born to glow so I'm just gonna be glowing in this video today so I'm using something different to blend in my foundation I'm using the MAC 170 brush and I freaking love this foundation brush it's so good so dense and it just blends really nicely into the skin works great for creams liquids even powder foundation so I'm gonna use this one. Now this foundation's a little too pink for me, but I'm gonna try and make it work for today. So I wanna know who are your favorite YouTubers, beauty gurus. I spend so much of my time on YouTube and doing YouTube. It's consumed my life so you know i'm always i know about a lot of youtubers and i watch a lot of youtubers so so moving on to brows now juicy jess's favorite is also the elf wow brow which i happen to have this is in the shade neutral brown and she actually got me onto this so i'm just going to use this one today i'm not going to fill them in because as you can see my brows don't really need to be filled in but i like giving them a little bit of a tint and just a little bit of fullness. Oh, I love this stuff. So I'm gonna move on to eyes and we're gonna do the rest of the face later. So, Tati Beauty Palette. Can you guess whose favorite this was? This is from Nicole Concilio here on YouTube. So she raved about how much she loved this palette in 2019 and so, of course I have it as well and I wanted to play around with it today. So we're gonna play around with her favorite palette and also my favorite palette. So I don't know what kind of look I wanna go for today. I'm thinking maybe an orange or something.
So I'm taking Story, which is a uh, burnt orange, and I'm just gonna apply that in the lower part of the crease. Now this brush has pink eyeshadow on it, but it's stained. So it's clean, but because it's stained, it looks like there's pink eyeshadow on it, but there's not. So I don't wanna make this look too orange or too bright. I just want it to still be a wearable orange, you know? So I'm going to take another shade, I'm going to take Story as well, sorry these two were mattes, I'm going to take Story again but this is the sequin and this is just going to go on the lid but I'm going to stop halfway. And so for the next product, I'm going to be using the Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher. And this one is in Spotlight Glitz, which is just a really pretty pink gold peachy kind of um, eyeshadow glitter shimmer. I don't even know what to call this, but it's like an eye topper. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, and Kathleen Lights here on YouTube said that this was one of her favorites for 2019. And yeah, love Kathleen Lights. She's been on YouTube for such a long time. I just love watching her. So I'm taking my finger with this one and I'm just gonna apply it to the lid. I'm just gonna top my eyes off with this. They have so many different shades. I only have this one, but I definitely wanna get more when I go back to Sephora or whenever that may be. It's like very wet, glistening, shiny, glittery. All the nice words you can think of. I'm going to switch to a pencil brush because I can't get into the inner corner with my fingers. So. I would suggest using a small detailed brush because you can really work it in. Okay, but look how glistening and pretty this lid color is. Mind blown, it's insane, it's so pretty. So we have something like this and I hope the camera is picking it up, but we're gonna move on now. So I'm gonna go back into the Tarte Beauty palette really quickly and I'm gonna do a smoky winged liner, but it's gonna be brown, not black. So we're gonna go into Ritual, which is a dark brown matte. I just love a smoky wing as well. I really need to do more winged liner that's more smoky, especially with eyeshadow. Use a very fine, dense, um, angled brush. This liner is a little higher, but we're gonna flow with it because otherwise I'd be here forever and we don't want that. So I couldn't find a YouTuber who had a favorite mascara that I had, so I'm just gonna use my own. This is the MAC Extended Giga Black Clay Mascara. Um, I'm just gonna do this off camera and I will be right back. Okay, concealer time. So, of 16 hour camo concealer. This was Tati's favorite concealer of 2019. She had a few others, but she did mention this one and I wanted to use it today. Um, it's a great drugstore concealer. It's definitely a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, so I highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already. They have a new hydrating one, which I want to try out as well. So this is in the shade Light Sand. And yeah, Tati here, also known as Glam Life guru i think the shade i have is a little too bright for me but we're just gonna make it work this one is nice and yellowy so it might take away a little bit of that pink undertoneness from the foundation i always like to do the sides of the nose as well and any little crevices this concealer is actually really nice um in terms of the shade 
It's actually giving me a really Kim K highlighted look. And then to blend it out further, I just take a small little brush and then just go at it and blend it out. You can always use your finger as well. So for powder today, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. This is a perfect pale light yellow banana sort of powder. And this one was from Soph Does Life uh, here on YouTube. And she said that this was her favorite. So I absolutely love this powder as well. I'm just gonna be using that to set my under eye. The only thing that I don't like about the powder is the scent. I don't really like when products have um, a smell to them. So I'm going to set this under my eyes and also the rest of my face. So now for bronzer, I'm using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. This one is Samantha Maria's uh, favorite bronzer, also known as Beauty Crush, a long time ago, back in the OG YouTube days. Um, also a Brit, and I absolutely love her. I've been watching her for years, and she said that this was her favorite bronzer. Okay, so for blush and highlight, I'm using the Blushing in Bali palette from BH Cosmetics. And this one is Juicy Jass's favorite. I did use this in one of my videos and I do, do, do love this product as well. I definitely need to use it more. So because the eyes are orange, I'm gonna go in with Coral, which is a nice coral blush and sweep it back. And we may as well go into highlighter with this palette, so I'm going to use Glisten, which is a nice highlight shade that just looks honestly wet on the skin. Wow. Hit above the brow, it's my favourite spot. Oh my god. I'm going to finish off my under eyes with a little bit of Soothe of the matte. And just run that along. I'm taking Glisten from the highlighter palette and just applying that to the inner corner. Like that. Sorry, I was just... <laughs> I was really shocked for a second. Wow, just I just look so glowy. I just love it. I just look so freaking glowy. Now I'm gonna move on to mascara for the bottom and then we're gonna do lips and then we are done. For lips today, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Bikini Babe, which is a really, really nice neutral beige shade. This is Bailey Sarian's favorite liquid lipstick of 2019. It was the YouTuber that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the one who does true crime and makeup and binds it together. So definitely check her out. And I just love the way she does her makeup. She's honestly so amazing. So this is the liquid lipstick without any gloss, but I'm going to add gloss just to kind of finish off the look. Uh, but you can leave it matte like this. I think it's really, really pretty to leave it matte. Um, but I'm going to add gloss. So let me go and get that. Last but not least for gloss to top everything off, I am using the Il Maquillage Times Carly Bible High Shine Lip Glaze in Star Child. And this one was Shanexo's uh, favorite lip gloss. I absolutely love Shanexo. She said that she loved this lip gloss. So we're going to top it off with that just because I do have it and I want to use it as well. And it goes really nicely with the eyes. 
I'm just gonna use a tiny amount. With the leopard top and like the orangeness and the glowy skin and glossy lips is just such a vibe right now and I don't even want to take it off. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, found it helpful as well and of course everything is linked down below. Again comment down below who your favourite YouTubers are and what favourite makeup products that you love as well. So that is it from me and as usual I will see you guys all in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,